3v3 Carl Darius Refinery Blue Team. We have MS Commies as an Orc Mech Boy Teleporting Commander can pump up some nice range damage. Also support pretty well too. Osterisa alongside as an Eldar Warlock Offensive Melee has a bunch of spells. Really nice disruption later on. And Floyd rounds out the blue team as a Hive Tyrant. Toughest commander in the game to start off. Fights melee by default, bashes through cover, cannot be suppressed, and emits a basic synapse. Red team, we have Edger as a Lord General fights range, has a retinue to help him out, which you can add to throughout the game. Lots of defense and support. Rar is a force commander, offensive melee, pretty versatile, can support his marines, looks like Randy Couture. And Dirk Craddix rounds out the red team as another Hive Tyrant. Looks like Rar is coming to support the west side. Mech boy shooting up the Hive Tyrant while it caps, it's not too bothered. And looks like Austerese is coming to the west side as well, so we're going to see a huge engagement here. Dirk Craddix bringing in Cormagaunts from the flank. Hive Tyrant getting a little bit ahead of the rest of the forces, I think. And here come Banshees from Austerese. Double shooters for MS Commies. Both Tyranid players going for double Termagants into Spore Mines. Termagants and Hive Tyrant forced off, Sluggers forced off. Here come Banshees, light melee unit with power weapons, but here come Spore Mines. Will they detonate? There we go, Banshees taking loads of damage, shot up by Tactical Marines as well. And they run away with two models left. Here comes Floyd for a triple on the west side for blue team. With Hormagant Brood and double Termagants. Spore Mines still chasing though from Dirk Radix. Where are Floyd's Spore Mines? They are waiting. Double Guardsman from Edger, pushing now. Spore Mines go down. Force Commander still in there, whacking stuff in a neck with his Chainsword. He's going to be forced off though. Mech Boy is shooting him up. And he does respectable damage with his Starter Gun. Or Shooter, as Orcs call him. Hive Tyrant chasing around. Double Guardsman should be able to force them off with Double Termagants backing him up. And there they go. Lord General finished a cap on this wreck point. And Osterisa gets a Shuriken Cannon. And Dirk Radix, yes, is getting the extended carapace. Will counter that Shuriken Cannon pretty nicely. Also expect Rendon Talons from her Hive Tyrant to counter all this squishy light infantry from Eldar and Orcs. I think Floyd should do the same thing against these Imperial Guard as well. Multi last turret on the east side is going to go down though. Double Termigan shooting it up. And I think it was scuttled in the end. Can he take out both retinue members of the Lord General? Does. Is getting the Sergeant retinue member. Kicking off on the west side. Beautiful grenade by Ra. Scouts took out a bunch of Banshees and Sluggers and then retreat. Tactical Marines and Double Termagants still pressuring the west side. We have Double Shooters, both of them Nob Leader, making them a lot more durable and making them into a Detector Unit. You can tell the eye on top of their indicator there. Shuriken forces it off their Tactical Marines. And Mech Boy really capped this wreck point, or perhaps will they hit power? No, it looks like they're going centre to force off the Tacticals, and here is Ra. No war gear for... Yes, we do see battery pack on the mech boy. Excellent support war gear. Warlock has nothing. Floyd has nothing. Dirt Credix has extended carapace and rendered talon. So that Hive Tyrant is going to be fearsome in tier 1. And nothing for Edger apart from that Sergeant Retinue. Termagants forced off by a Shuriken Cannon. Really strong double on this west side by a blue team. There's the charge. Shuriken's going to be forced off here. Needs support and here come Orcs. Centre is Tactical Marines forcing melee on Guardians. And here comes the Warlock. No war gear for the Warlock yet. There's Seismic Roar. Didn't really hit the centre of a blob. And the Hive Tyrant retreats. Here come Scouts getting a bit too close to those Sluggers. They're going to try a grenade on the Shuriken. And they're going to hit their own commander and might go down. Yes, it's a dead scout squad. That's quite a big blow to Ra. They had their sergeant, which is 25 power. Shooters forced off. 
Force Commander forced off. Can the Sluggers take him out in retreat? Crippling Poison perhaps saving the Force Commander there. Well done by Dirk Radix. Katashan Devils, double Katashan Devils in fact from Edger. Versatile tier 1 unit with shotguns, nice melee and a grenade launcher. Banshees capping mid, don't even have their aspect and Osteris is going for a quick tier 2 here. Termagants of Floyd shooting up this power node. Cormagants have their adrenal glands. That Credix has double termagants, lost her Hormagants. Tier 2 for Ra. Osteris will hit it first. Ra went about the same time as MS Commies. And now Floyd goes. And Blues have a double. Edge are taking back Red Snatcher though. Going to be a 2 to 1. Here come Orcs again. Five Tyrant might charge and use Seismic Roar. Though it's still level 1. So when it charges, it won't be able to use Seismic Roar immediately because it doesn't have enough energy at level 1. Here's a charge on those Sluggers. The charge actually does damage itself. I think it's 30 damage. It used to do a lot more. Floyd runs away. There's a warp throw from the Warlock. Excellent piece of war gear for disruption. And Hive Tyrant of Floyd has extended carapace as well. Banshees have their Exarch already and she has her spear. So they're a pretty fearsome DPS melee unit. Though still reasonably fragile. Pretty much a glass cannon banshees and force commanders being chased turns around battle cry disruption so he can retreat nicely done by Ra. Might have lost his commander there otherwise. Guardians have their warlock and their battle equipment. Termigants coming to the west side but they meet a shuriken cannon and retreat immediately. Dirk Radix has a zone throw on the way already. Floyd getting a Venom Brood. Not sure why, perhaps expecting a quick Chimera but with double Katashen Devils might be able to bleed them really badly with a zone throw or two. Warp throw chucks these Guardsmen infantry and there's a washout but the shotgun blast knocks back the Banshees. But Edger doesn't pull back. Floyd brings his warriors in. Heavy infantry start off as a melee unit. Also emit a basic synapse. Seismic roar from the Hive Tyrant. Ouch, nice plasma gun shot. Plasma cannon shot even. Here's the zone throat. And might finish off those shooters and does. Zone throat is an artillery and it doesn't need to set up. And its projectile hits its target immediately. Some people think it's overpowered since it got a speed buff and a health regen buff. Weird boy on the field for MS Commies. And Floyd, is he getting range synapse? No. So these Venom Brood are useless in this engagement. Should be shooting up those generators, I think. But Banshees are whacking on them. Huge engagement here. Hive Tyrant of Floyd has Crushing Claw. I think Brendan Talons will be a lot better. Look at this blob of Guardsmen, which would be decimated by the Seismic Roar, but he can't do it and runs away. We have Adrenal Gland Warriors, so these Hormagons are now under melee synapse, giving them 1200 hit points at level 1. Grenade launchers on the Termigants. Edge looks like he's standing his ground pretty well, Ra backing him up, and the Warlock went down. Full retreat from the Tyranids, and Red Team can now push perhaps Blue's power here. Is he a Brood Nest? Warp Vomit stuns these Tyranids. Power of Tyrant probably charged in and Seismic Roar and is now retreating. Double Zone Throats from Dirk Radix is going to be so deadly against MS Commies Orcs. And look at this, Ripper's spawn to get line of sight into base and these zone throats are going to shoot it up. There's one loss. There's another five. There's another two. Another three. Another two. Nicely done by Dirt Reddick. Some crazy losses on the Orcs. 
and an excellent crippling poison too to stop these banshees catching those zone threats in retreat. Excellent engagement for the Radix, and we see a Wraith Lord on the field from Osterisa. Walker vehicle for Eldar fights melee. But with double zone throats constantly snaring it with focus walk blast, I don't know how much it's going to be able to get into melee. It has a shuriken cannon mounted on its shoulder. Five turret without crushing claw can't really do much to the Wraith Lord, so backs off. Marines forced off from RAR. RAR has Terminator armor for the Force Commander. It's tier 3 and has the Heavy Flamer. And is really taking out that node very quickly. Blue is completely losing that power. East side, Crushing Claw, Hive Turret. Retreats. And the rest of the Tyrannies come in. They still have a basic synapse from that Venabrood and these Warriors though. And indeed a melee synapse for these Hormogaunts. And Floyd has a zone throw of his own. Hive Tyrant goes down in retreat thanks to the Wraith Lord and some shooters. Here come double zone throws though. And Focus Warp Blast snares and does quite a nice piece of damage to that Wraith Lord. One zone throw retreats. Double Termigants back away. Here comes the Warlock though. Crippling poison on him, and that's a good thing because it's Witch Fade of Kurnus. Wraith Lord still moving in, down to about half health, and backs away. Look at the map, looks very, very blue right now. They have a double. Hive Tyrant moving out of base with double zone throats. MS Commies now tier 3, Floyd going tier 3, Dirk Radix tier 3, Edger, and Austerista still in tier 2. 328216 and red team can take their natural yes for a 2 to 1. Weird boy still around. Here comes the Hive Tyrant charging in again. And there's Seismic Roar. And it might be forced off straight away. No, staying in there, losing tons of health and now goes. There's a zap on those Termigants and their warp throw, but the Weird Boy went down, sloppy from MS Commies, keeping it in the tactical marine sights there, and Termigants, and full retreat from Note Radix. Wraith Lord now pushing against these marines. Shooters chasing into base, are they looking for line of sight? They are, here's a rocks. And a zone threat goes down, other than that, minimal losses though for Note Radix. Predator tank on the way for Rara and Edger has Ogrins on the field. Despite that indicator suggesting power melee, they are actually melee heavy, so do full damage to all targets. Apart from commanders, I think, I don't think anything does full damage to commanders, but I could be wrong. Nob squad on the way for commies. This Wraith Lord still stomping around, doing splash damage to these Termigants. And Mechboy forcing melee here. Look at the damage that Wraith Lord is doing. Now turns itself onto the Hive Tyrant, but it's going to die here, I think. Has a Zone Throat snaring it. Predator Tank firing, and a Terminator Force Commander forces melee with its Power Fist. And we see a Mega Rumble here, which does huge damage to structures and will wipe out this power. Doesn't say anything about that on the tooltip, but it does work. But the mech boy might pay for it with its life, yes. Twin and Naz Cannons to the back. Take him out. Ogrins force off Tyranids. Can whack on warriors in retreat. Might be able to get a loss. No. And blue team have a triple here. Red team on the back foot. Banshees pushing, but they're forced off quick time. These two models to a last kind of shot I think. Double Katishan Devils are still level 1. Edge are the only player in tier 2. And Nob Squad for Commies already have their hammers. I assume they already have Mina and Greener as well. There's Crippling Poison. Dirt Credix has used that ability really well so far, saving a bunch of units with it. 
fire turret runs away. Can the knob squad finish it off? No. And Dirk Radix has a carn fix on the way. Osterisa suddenly looking very, very thin with Guardians and Banshees. 291, 123, that's a plasma cannon whirring up, firing on its allied Ogrins. And there's Ethereal Slash from the Warlock, and then he fleets away. And goes down, melter gun to the face. Here comes Floyd, and there's a creeping barrage on his Tyranus. Don't think he's noticed. Global ability of the Lord General. Taking out a couple of units. Got away reasonably well, though. Still has Adrenal Gland Warriors and Gormagaunts under melee synapse. And that zone throw doing nice damage to these Katashan Devils, and he's going to lose that squad. And eventually the Tyranids are forced off. Now a 2 to 1 for Red Team. And we have a Carnifex with the Barb Strangler, which is such a devastating weapon against infantry. Predator still going strong. Floyd hasn't really been able to engage it with his Zone Throat and Venom Brood yet. Nob Squad would also do very good if they can get into melee with the Predator tank. Floyd has a con effects of his own. Gone for Thornback, turning it into a melee freak. And Red Team have a double here, but they don't have their natural. There's the Barb Stranger from the con effects. Look at the damage to these shooter boys, and they just run the hell away. Dirt Credit's now hitting power 2, 15, 1, 2, 3. Huge engagement in the middle, Nob Squad whacking on the Force Commander who has put Cleansing Flames at his own feet and look at the damage. The grenade launcher goes in. Still Cleansing Flames. And Nob Squad forced, no they aren't forced off, they are running into melee with the Predator tank. Terminator is called in from Ra. Don't think they'll be able to catch that thing. And might need to retreat here. No, he's keeping him in combat. And there's Calder Boys reinforcing the Nob Squad. Global ability of all of the Orc Commanders. Such a good global ability as well. Terminators teleport out. And Nob Squad are not backing off here. Terminator squad getting their assault cannon mega rumbler again on these generators but he's taking a lot of damage while he does it takes out the generators but then goes down here come Ogrins we'll put up a good fight versus knobs and knob squad looks like they're going to retreat yep a lot of pressure on blue's natural bad duck radix but here we have an avatar from Osterisa super unit for Eldar, fights melee hugely powerful and is going after a Carnifex here and there's a turn of formation from Dirk Radix. Banshees run away, takes out her own Termigants and didn't do much else. Here comes that Carnifex with that devastating Bar Strangler that was wrapped off Kane suppressing those Ogrins and a huge engagement over the centre VP. Terminators, Tactical Marines, Lord General and a whole bunch of Tyranids. There's a Waning Doom. Ouch! Wipes out the Ogrin squad. That was crazy. And there's a Tyranid formation on the centre VP by Floyd. Terminators teleport out and nicely dodged otherwise by Ra. Venom Brood shooting at the Predator tank, which has been managed really well by Ra in this game. Center is uncapped. Reds have a single 144-121. Blue's taking a natural though. It's going to be a 1-1, to -one, so it's all going to hinge on this engagement in the center. Terminator Force Commander teleports in and forces melee on those warriors. And Reds are capping middle with tactical marines. Dirk Craddix as a tier 3 Lictor on the field. Another unit that actually does melee heavy 
despite the indicator. Avatar coming to Dirk Craddock's base wants to finish off this Carnifex. Predator tank is coming to help out, I think. Knob Squad and Banshees. And Avatar's taking a lot of damage. This could be a huge mistake from Osterisa, who has a fire prism. Avatar trying to run away now. Needs to go through rare stuff. Knob Squad in amongst Terminators. Fighting melee with their power fists and Knob Squad run away. Flesh hooks from the lick to get in that little mech boy who's been really annoying with that mega rumbler. Banshee's now turning onto the Lictor. We don't really want to use the Lictor against another melee squad. Much better countering range squads with its leap and its flesh hooks and stuff. Fire Prison getting away. That's the mech boy global boosting the speed of vehicles. I can't remember what it's called. Here comes Floyd. This is where the Crushing Claw comes into its own against tanks and very tough tier 3 units like those Terminators. Warlock being revived. 86 1 to 1 and Reds have a single. Lost their natural though to Warriors but those Warriors need to run away. Floyd too busy looking at the center and the Hive Tyrant goes down. Lictor retreats from Dirk Radix. Venom Brood are going to be tied up by Ogrins here. And what is this? An Eldritch Storm? Yes. From Osterisa. Again, Rod dodges it very well. 79, 1, 2, 1. Dirk Craddix has double Carnifexes. Second Carnifex has no upgrades and snacks on a knob. Avatar walking out of Kwame's base. Fire Prism using its spread shot. Triple for red team now. 48 1 2 1. They've turned this around excellently well. There's a people barrage on the orcs. Forcing them off and taking out a couple of models. I think three. Carnifex has put Thorn back. And is in melee with an avatar. Avatar will win because it has over 5,000 hit points. Red team sitting pretty in the middle, and it's all over. A triple for red sees out the game. Pretty intense back and forth, all players all over the map. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.